When he learns that his wedding to his best friend is going to be a disaster, a 10-year-old boy and his robot cat decide to travel to the future to prevent the ceremony from being cancelled. Today we're going to recap the story of the movie, Stand By Me Doraemon 2, from 2020. After a whole night of drinking with his friends during his bachelor party, Nobita says goodbye to them and returns home, because the next day will be his wedding. Although he is happy with this new phase in his life, the man feels insecure and sad that he won't have his friend Doraemon with him on this special day. After returning home with the robotic cat as a child, Nobita was scolded by his mother for hiding the fact that he had fallen behind in school. Resentful of Tamako's words, the boy begins to cry and questions whether he really belongs to that family. After even complaining about the name his parents chose for him, Nobita shows him the drawer full of zeroed exam papers he hid from his mother. Determined to hide all the evidence, Nobita begs Doraemon to lend him some equipment to help him destroy the evidence. At this point, they both receive a product from the department store of the future, which from time to time sends samples of equipment to be tested. After touching that rope, the consciousness of the two friends ends up switching places and they both have to hold the object again to undo the switch. Nobita then starts looking for a place to hide his evidence and finds a teddy bear that he loved when he was in kindergarten. The boy tells him that it was his late grandmother who gave him the toy and shows him a photo of her. When he remembers the good times he had with that old lady, Nobita misses her terribly and begins to cry with nostalgia. In order to have the chance to see her once again, the boy asks permission to use the time machine to go back in time and convinces Doraemon to accompany him on this adventure. When he arrives at his grandmother's house, Nobita can't find her and starts looking for her. After breaking into her room, he finds a woman much younger than his grandmother and realizes that she is his mother. After being kicked out by Tamako, who was unable to recognize her own son, Nobita and Doraemon decide to go out to look for grandma. While walking through the neighborhood streets, the boy sees his three-year-old self crying and being comforted by his friend Shizuka. Ever since he was a child, Nobita has suffered at the hands of Gion and Suneo, who would later become his best friends. After scolding the boys who attacked his younger self, Nobita finally spots his grandmother walking down the street and is thrilled to see her alive once again. When she approaches her grandson, the old woman reveals that she couldn't find the toy he wanted in any store, so Nobita responds very rudely. At this point, Shizuka gets upset with her friend and decides to leave, because she feels bad seeing him talk to his grandmother like that. After seeing his past self mistreating the old lady, Nobita approaches him and gives him a thrashing, then his mother shows up to take the boy home. At this point, the eldest Nobita is saddened to learn that his mother hasn't recognized him once again and goes into his grandmother's room. In doing so, the boy has the chance to talk to the old woman and discovers that one of her biggest dreams is to see her grandchild graduate from school, even though she doesn't think she'll live long enough to do so. Determined to make his grandmother's dream come true, Nobita returns home in his time machine and searches for his backpack. When he returns to the past, he tries to explain to his grandmother that he came from the future to see her and the old woman reveals that, from the moment she saw him, she knew that the boy was her beloved grandson. Now that she knows the boy has the ability to travel back in time, the lady asks to meet his future bride and Nobita has a new idea. His plan is to take his grandmother to the future so that she can attend his wedding. At this point, Doraemon warns his friend that if Nobita takes his grandmother into the future, he risks changing the course of his life and causing him and Shizuka not to get married. So Nobita has a new plan and decides to use Time TV to show his wedding to his grandmother. However, when he sees his future on television, Nobita discovers that he didn't show up at his wedding and feels ashamed to show the images to his grandmother. Before doing so, the boy has to solve the problem of his future self and says goodbye to the old woman, promising that he'll be back soon to introduce his fiancée. This time, they travel straight to the wedding day and encounter heavy rain. While her friends search for him, Shizuka is heartbroken, but still has hope that her fiancée will show up. To solve this problem, Doraemon transforms the child Nobita into an adult and gives him the mission of performing the ceremony together with his bride-to-be. The problem is that the boy doesn't know how to act like a grown man and feels very insecure. However, when he sees Shizuka, his heart calms down and they both follow the ceremonialist to the wedding venue. At this point, Doraemon uses the shrinking ray to become the size of an ant and hides in his friend's suit to help him during the ceremony. When he sees all those guests, Nobita begins to tremble and becomes even more nervous when he sees his fiancée approaching. The situation worsens when the boy has to say that he agrees to marry Shizuka, as he is completely frozen with fear. But with Doraemon's help, he manages to relax and finishes the ceremony with his wife. At the moment of kissing the bride, Nobita faints and only wakes up during the wedding feast, as he gets excited at the sight of all the food. 
After lunch, the bride and groom get up to cut the cake, which is prepared on the spot using an advanced confectionery machine. The couple then have the chance to take photos with all their friends and family, which Nobita is very excited about. However, when the time comes to make his speech, the young man realizes he's in trouble, because he doesn't know what to say. He immediately makes an excuse to run away from his own wedding party and goes off to find his older self. Meanwhile, Jian thinks of a strategy to distract the guests while waiting for the groom to return and decides to put on a musical performance. To help them find Nobita, Doraemon has the idea of using the detector stick, but soon remembers that he has forgotten most of his equipment at home. So the pair decide to fly over the city to look for him without the baton and soon manage to find Nobita's vehicle. The problem is that the man isn't inside the car. So Doraemon runs to the bathroom to look for him, as he suspects he was in there the whole time. After looking through all the cabins, the cat discovers that his time machine has been stolen and the only person capable of piloting it at that time is the adult Nobita. The two friends' mission now is to find out where the man is going with the time machine, because without it they will never be able to return to the present. While looking for some equipment that could help them solve this problem, Doraemon finds the soul machine, capable of sucking out a person's soul and transporting them to another time. The plan consists of transferring Nobita's soul to the moment when he was scolded by his mother, so that the boy can remember that the other version of himself and Doraemon are in trouble. He then takes the time machine and travels to the future. When he meets the duo, the boy's soul returns to the right body, so they take Nobita from the past back home. After completing the mission, Doraemon fetches the detector stick from the boy's room and uses it to find out where the adult Nobita ended up. At that moment, the cat discovers that Nobita has traveled to the present and goes out to look for him on the streets of the city. When they finally manage to find him, the pair take him to his old room and question why he ran away from his wedding. The man then claims that he loves Shizuka, but the night before, when he was returning home after drinking with his friends, he got very scared. On the way back, Nobita began to think that he might not be able to make Shizuka happy, as he is too childish and clumsy. The truth is that Nobita loves and admires his fiancée so much that he has come to the conclusion that she deserves someone better than him. When he accidentally found the time machine inside one of the toilet cubicles, he decided to go back in time to think about his decision and plan to return for the ceremony. However, the truth is that he didn't make it back in time, so the child Nobita had to wear a disguise to get married, but ran away right in the middle of the wedding. When he discovers that he has missed his ceremony, Nobita despairs and uses Time TV to find out what happened a year after his wedding. At that moment, he discovers that, even after all his blunders, Shizuka still loves him and believes that her husband will come back to explain what happened. When he discovers this, Nobita despairs and blames his younger self for all the bouts of fear and insecurity he suffers, since the boy never tries hard and only gets a zero in his exams. To reverse this situation, Doraemon has an idea and uses the rope he received from the department store of the future to switch Nobita's consciousness from the present and the future. Now that he has the chance to be a child again, the boy decides to go to the playground and play baseball with the neighborhood kids, who will be his best friends in the future. Meanwhile, the other Nobita and Doraemon return to their room and meet Nakameguro, an employee who works at the department store of the future. The man then reveals that the reason for his visit is to ask the robotic cat to return the switch rope he received that day because the product has a manufacturing problem. Mr. Nakameguro says that after an hour of use, the two consciousnesses that have switched bodies will be erased forever and the only way to prevent this is to return the consciousnesses to their proper bodies before time runs out. Upon hearing this news, the two friends immediately go after the adult Nobita and, just then, Doraemon makes a sad discovery. Based on recent events, he comes to the conclusion that the adult Nobita didn't go back to the wedding because he didn't know how to go back, since he lost his memory while his consciousness was switched. When he hears this, the boy despairs, because it means that he too will lose all his memories. As the pair fly over the city, the adult Nobita gets into trouble with some high school kids who want to take money from him. The problem is that the money he has in his wallet doesn't belong to that era, so his only option is to try and escape from the bullies. However, when Nobita gets on the motorcycle to try and escape, he realizes that he doesn't know how to ride it and loses control of the bike. As he drives through the city, he has to dodge obstacles along the way, because he doesn't know how to stop the vehicle. After crossing abandoned alleyways and breaking into an old man's house, Nobita encounters the bullies again and has to continue his escape. His last stop is in a park near his house and, at this point, the high school boys manage to surround him. Seeing Nobita being targeted by those cowards, Shizuka decides to intervene and orders the trio to leave her friend alone. At that moment, the men walk towards her and, in order to defend her, Nobita attacks them. 
The boy is about to be punched again when Jian and Suneo show up to defend him and send the bullies running. After the battle, the adult Nobita faints and his friends try to wake him up. The same thing happens to the child Nobita, so Doraemon has the idea of using a magic door to find the other version of Nobita. At that moment, the robotic cat enlists the help of Nobita's friends to get the two versions of the boy to hold onto the switching rope and narrowly manages to return the two consciousnesses to their proper bodies in time. When the young Nobita wakes up, Shizuka hugs him and begins to cry because she was so afraid of losing her friend. If time had run out, Nobita would have forgotten all the memories he shared with his friends and family. Seeing the girl embracing her younger self, the adult Nobita feels ready to return home, as he is more confident that he will be able to be the man Shizuka deserves. All he has to do is keep his promise to his fiancée that he will be by her side at all times, because he knows that Shizuka will never abandon him. Before returning to the future, the boy reveals that he has another place he would like to go and asks Doraemon to take them back to the day of his birth. Due to the various disagreements he had with his mother, Nobita always suspected that he was adopted, as he couldn't accept the fact that he had been born into that family. What's more, he's always hated his own name and is curious to find out why his parents decided to call him that. When the two versions of Nobita arrive at his house, they come across his father, who is 10 years younger. The man has just returned from work and is looking for his newborn son. For some reason, Nobisuke has forgotten that his wife hasn't left the hospital yet, but Nobita is there to remind him. He immediately runs to the city's obstetrics center and ends up being followed by the trio. When he arrives at the hospital, the man follows the nurse to the room where his wife and child are. When he finally sees the boy, Nobisuke is completely enchanted. Soon after, Nobita and Doraemon show up and the boy is disappointed when he discovers that he was a wrinkly baby. Immediately, the man expels the strangers from the room and Nobita has to peek through the crack in the door. At that moment, he hears his parents talking about his name and is happy to discover the beautiful meaning behind it. After hearing all the answers they were looking for, the two versions of Nobita accompany Doraemon back to the future, at the exact moment of his wedding to Shizuka. Just then, the trio see the old versions of Nobita and Doraemon going down the escalator to look for the groom, as they need him to make the speech. After fixing his own future, the boy asks his adult version to go it alone from now on, because he needs to fulfill an important promise. Before saying goodbye, Nobita hands the ring to his adult version and goes on his way. The man then runs back to the ceremony and finds all the guests dozing off to the music of Jian, who tried to distract them while Nobita returned to the wedding. After apologizing to Shizuka for his brief disappearance, the groom takes the microphone and makes a beautiful speech thanking his parents for the upbringing they gave him. At this point, the young man remembers his late grandmother and decides to pay tribute to her, because he knows that she was extremely important during his childhood. As he remembers the beautiful moments he had with her, Nobita realizes how much the love he received from his grandmother contributed to his formation, even during his adult life. Finally, Nobita promises Shizuka that he is ready to build a family with her that is as successful as the one his parents and parents-in-law built, and he says that he will never abandon his wife. Hearing this beautiful speech, all the guests were moved to tears and applauded the new couple that had been formed that day. Just then, while looking at all his relatives and friends, the groom sees his grandmother hiding behind a small bush next to Doraemon and the young Nobita. When he sees this illustrious presence on the most important day of his life, the boy is moved and discreetly waves to his grandmother. After attending the ceremony, the old woman asks her grandson to take her back home, as she is already very happy to have her biggest dream come true. Minutes later, Shizuka goes to talk to her husband and claims to know that it wasn't him who was with her earlier. Despite loving Nobita, the young woman knows that he was afraid of marriage, so somehow Doraemon traveled to the future in order to save him. Knowing this makes Shizuka feel insecure about their relationship, as she doesn't know if Nobita really wanted to marry her or if it was Doraemon who convinced him to do so. In order to reassure his wife, the young man reveals that he has returned because he believes that the two of them can be very happy together and gives his wedding ring to Shizuka so that they can retake their vows the right way. Meanwhile, Nobita, a child, remains in the past, keeping his grandmother company as they both watch the sunset. Before saying goodbye to her grandson, the old woman thanks him for allowing her to fulfill her big dream and congratulates the boy for having faced many challenges to fulfill his promise. Seeing the courageous boy that her crying grandson has become, the elderly woman feels proud and says that seeing this transformation has made her even happier. After this emotional farewell, Nobita accompanies Doraemon to the time machine and they both return home. So what did you think of this movie? Leave it in the comments below. And if you liked the video, like and subscribe for more movie recaps. See you next time.